Welcome to Mechanical Tutorial. I am going to teach you different techniques in SOLIDWORKS for mechanical engineers. I am going to train you different modules like part modeling, surface modeling, sheet metal enclosure design, plastic components design, product design, reverse engineering, simulation and many more tips and tricks in SOLIDWORKS. Hi, today I am going to explain two ways to create perforated tube. So left side you can see the folded state and the right side it is a flat pattern. See this is the component I am going to create. This is the flat pattern. I am going to explain first method. Select the top plane go to sketch this is 700 draw a center line make sure that it is horizontal and this should be equal to radius so this is 350 draw one circle at this point is around 10 mm and give any value and select trim entities select power trim and remove these two lines inside the circle now select this and make it construction see here so there is a gap between these two points now go to sheet metal module go to base flange it is 500 mm and thickness you can give any value so i have taken 1.8 save ok now select the front plane go to sketch draw one circle so this is 80 diameter is 60 and make it horizontal Now select the linear pattern. And select this circle. So select this edge and we can give distance of 90 so direction should be in opposite direction and number of instances is 5 
and I save it. See here. Now go to sheet metal, extrude it, cut. See, remove this link to thickness and select blind option and assign some value 500. So, I am going to flip the direction for visibility and say ok. See here. Now, I am going to create one axis. Select the inner face. Now, go to circular pattern. Select this axis. and instances select this cutout and instead of uh, uh, 12 you can take 11 see here see this method is very simple and uh, we can use this uh, method during product development when you are making a new product and uh, this is with a circular pattern so next method is with linear pattern so i've suppressed these uh, previous features now what we have to do is we have to go to sheet metal module select the unfold and we can select any face fixed face so I am going to select this face or an edge so it is automatically highlighting bends to be unfolded so we can select any edge this edge or the other edge then we have to select collect all bends and say ok see it is now in flat pattern see here now I am going to create a sketch on this face this is 70 and this is 80 this is 60 now select the linear pattern so so we have to select the edge and here and it used to be pattern we have to select this the circle so let us see with 50 so it is 80 and with the 5 instances see here and say ok so I am going to create extruded cut we can link to thickness now we can create a linear pattern select this edge and uh, features select this extruded cut and uh, so distance I am taking 104 so that it can match exactly see here and number of instances 21 see here now go to sheet metal module select a fold 
and collect all bits. So here we don't have to select the edge for fixed face. So say OK. See here. See this is uh, useful uh, during uh, manufacturing or DFM stage. So we can use this flash sheet for calculating the the whole distance so this gives the exact and uh, accurate values and it is good for calculating the punch and die so this is the general practice in sheet metal module so we can use either of this so first method we can use for industrial design and product development and this method we can use for design for manufacturing. So, I am going to unsuppress. See here. So, flat pattern, you can click this fl flatten command. See, this is the flat pattern. So, this is brief about the ways of creating perforated tube. Thanks for watching.